Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be making a card using Simon Says Stamp Beautiful Bouquet. It's part of their To The Moon release. And I'm gonna show you how to use this stamp set without coloring. This is actually a fairly large stamp set. It measures six by eight in size. You can see how large this bouquet of flowers is. And it has some sentiments on here, hope you feel better, you warm my heart, happy birthday, missing you. And then towards the bottom, there's a few other ones, you are so beautiful, and thanks for your friendship. So as I mentioned, you can see that this is a very large stamp. You don't have to use the entire stamp on a card. You can actually cut this down if you wanted to do an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. You can also cut this down to fit on a slim line, or in my case, I'm using this on a five by seven, but I'm not using the entire stamp. So here I'm just taking a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that I cut down to four and three quarter by six and three quarter inches. And you can see that I'm just positioning the large bouquet of flowers stamp on my cardstock as well as the happy birthday stamp in the bottom left hand corner and I have a piece of scrap paper underneath because I know that this is going to go off of my cardstock so I don't want to get any ink on the um, bottom layer there of the misty that I'm using so I go ahead and add the magnets and I do remove the sentiment stamp and now I'm just taking a powder tool, putting powder on my cardstock so that when I do some embossing here, the embossing powder does not stick to other parts of the cardstock where it was not stamped. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Versamark ink and I'm going to ink up this large stamp I'm going to press that down really well onto my cardstock so I can get a very good impression. And then I'm going to lift up that door on my Misty and I am gonna go ahead and take that cardstock out. Now you can't see the ink because the Versamark is clear, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some white embossing powder. So this is just some white embossing powder by Ranger and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on my stamped image. And then I'll use my heat tool to melt that embossing powder. And this will take just a few seconds here because it is such a large image. Just make sure that you get all of the embossing powder melted before you move on. So you can see all of the detail of that embossing powder. So you can see that up close here. Now from this step, you can choose how you want to color this up. If you wanted to use some watercolor markers to color this up, you can do so because the Bristol Smooth cardstock is good for watercoloring. You could also use some colored pencils, however you want to do this. But what I'm going to do rather than coloring with markers or pencils is I am going to use my inks to color this up. I wanted to find an easy and quick way to color this image to make a quick card and I thought that using the inks with the embossing powder would be the quickest way. And I know that a lot of you love these floral stamps but you just don't like to color so I wanted to give you an alternative way to use these stamps with your inks to make a nice card. So what I'm doing is I'm just using a sponge dauber. It's just a mini sponge dauber that I put on the tip of my finger and I'm putting it in some of the inks and I'm coloring up the stamped image that way. So I started out with sponge sugar, colored that entire large floral stamp with the light pink, which is the sponge sugar, and then the center I colored up with picked raspberry. Now I'm using the shaded lilac, which is that purple color, and coloring up some more sections of that stamp. And I'll continue to use the ink daubers and the various color inks until I've colored the entire stamped image. So here I'm going in with the dried marigold and I'm coloring up this other large floral stamp. So you can see that it's putting the ink on the cardstock, but you can also see the lines in the stamp from the white embossed detail. Okay, so I'm also gonna be using the cracked pistachio for the leaves. So I'm just using my ink dauber to apply that on all of the leaves on this stamp. I'll come in with more of the shaded lilac, that purple color. And then I'm gonna color all of these flowers with the 
squeezed lemonade. So all of these flowers will be yellow. And I am going to come in and color the centers of those yellow flowers. I'm taking a paintbrush. It's a very small tip paintbrush and I'm just dipping it in that shaded lilac color to color up those centers. Okay, so that is a quick and easy way to color up your stamped image. Now I'm just going to take that cardstock layer and I'm going to put it back in my Misty and I'm just going to line up the happy birthday and I'm going to stamp that down. That's just going to be in some solid black ink. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add this card layer to a piece of black cardstock that measures four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. That black cardstock, I think, just makes the white card layer with the black sentiment pop. And then I'll add that to a five by seven card base. Now, as I said earlier, you can actually take this stamped image if you wanted to cut it down even more and use it on a smaller card front, you can totally do that. And I'm going to finish up this card by just adding some silver gems from my stash just around the sentiment and that's going to complete this card. So if you're interested in any of the products I've used, I will have links down in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.